Alright guys, this video is going to change the way you play Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I know for me, it did. Once I figured this out, I no longer have to duplicate items with Tombstone and duplicate crazy amounts of essence and even wait two days and three days for my items to come back to use them. Guys, check this out. It's going to blow your mind. Alright guys, I already know this video is going to get over 100 likes, 200 likes guys, because this is going to blow your mind. It's going to completely change the way in which you play Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Now guys, I've tested this out for the last three days. I know it's been over three days and I have not used any exfil. I strictly use this method and I come to the match with everything that I want in my tombstone. And I don't have to worry about essence or any duplicated items or replenishing any items that I've used and put them back in my stash. Dude, I don't even worry about my stash, guys. I don't worry about over 10 items, under 10 items in the stash or none of that stuff, guys. I know I did videos about it, so you can actually disregard those duplication videos that I did in the past even after season two, and let's just use this method right here. So guys, now what I'm doing right now, filling up my small ruck with the things that I always use and that I want to use in the game. For me, this may be different for you, but for me, I like to have the ether blade, lethal tool, the hellhound, sometimes a sigil, and that golden plates, guys. Now, of course, you may like pat threes, but you really don't have to when you come into the game with enough essence every time. And you can just buy PAP 2, buy PAP 3, buy whatever you want, guys. All right, so the crazy thing about this is I was actually recording this uh, part of the method because you do have to get down to get revived. And luckily enough for me, the guy who revived me, this guy, random guy right here, after he revived me, he gave me over 225K in essence. So, of course, now this is what I want to have in every single game. So instead of continuing on, I'm going to start right here. So I have $237,000 of essence. That's what I want to come into the game with. Also in my ruck, the things that you guys have already seen that I came into the match with, you know, the, the dog bone, the, the legendary ether tool, all that stuff I came into the game. I want that every single time and I want... 237k in essence every time of course and you can also uh, include a either a medium ruck or a large ruck um, I prefer large but sometimes you get a medium ruck is fine and now this is where this is setting my tombstone right here I haven't done it yet but in every game you guys are going to see that is what I'm going to have in my tombstone whenever I come into the game every single time guys so the next thing is head on over to the tombstone cola buy station or in the in the other zones or of course you can always go to the high threat zone if you want and go to the machine that has all of them of course if you rather go that route for me it's just less risky and a lot uh, i don't know a lot easier for me anyways just to go to the um uh, the tombstone soda machine itself and get the tombstone cola all right guys so of course go ahead and purchase and consume the tombstone cola and afterwards you do have to if you're playing solo like i am you have to go and find uh, where, an area where there's a lot of players at or you know one or two or even three players because now it's completely different after season two you can no longer you can no longer just down yourself and then come back into the game and do it that way it no longer works that way you have to get downed get revived and then your tombstone will be set and then you can actually go down again die and then come back and your tombstone will be there so here's what i did right here as you can see got downed and then i asked for the revive i said thanks appreciate it and after you are revived you your tombstone is completely set here's what i mean so from now on i can actually go ahead and use any of these items 
Doesn't matter, I can use the essence, I can use all of my items. It doesn't matter because my tombstone is set in time. So when I join the game, when I get into another game, these items will be there. All right guys, like I said, your tombstone is now set. After you are downed and you get revived, that's it. That is your tombstone for here on out. And so as you can tell, I've used my items. I've used the golden armor plate, as you can tell. I have also equipped my ether blade and pretty much everything except for my medium ruck. So um, that includes the essence. So you can actually go in pap three if you have enough essence, of course, but you can use your essence, get your weapon to max pap if that's what you wanna do. You can buy your perks, however many perks you want. You don't have to come into the game with perks um, and just basically do it that way, guys. And you will basically have always have everything that you need to do anything that you need <laughs> you know what i'm saying guys so um i no longer have to worry about you know duplicating items and and just running out of stuff like i'm always gonna have this essence from here on out now of course um 235k in essence i'm never gonna need more than that like i used to think that i was gonna need you know oh i need 500k in essence i need 900 i need 999 no i don't I've never used over 100k in essence in a single game, like like ever. Like once I get the pap three and maybe buy some kill streaks and golden, you know, three plate vest, large ruck. I mean, I'm still, I'm, st <laughs> I've, I've, I'll never be, I'll never want more than the essence I have right now for a single game. Like 235k in essence, I'm, I'm glad he gave me that, and I'm gonna use it, of course. But I'll never, ever want more than that. I really don't think I will. So that is pretty much it right there. Once you have everything that you need, guys. And then the only other thing to do now is you have to, of course, down yourself. Now, this time when you down yourself, you basically do not get revived. Make sure you're by yourself. Make sure you're on your lonely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, guys? Uh, but you do not get revived. Get down. Now, this is kind of like the normal way at this point, but just basically get down. Now, only thing with this is, again, um, I have the Hellhound with me. Of course, it's kind of hard to, like, down yourself or get down and not get revived because the, hell, the Hellhound will sit there. He don't care. He's like, I'm doing my job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, shout out to the Hellhound, man. So... Um, here is the trick. If you do have the Hellhound at this point and you do need to down yourself at this particular point, here is what you can do. All right, guys. So if you do have the Hellhound and you need to get down or and not revived on um, this part, um, if you go in the water and just like pretty much drown yourself, he will not revive you. For some reason, the, the Hellhound does not revive you if you're underwater. I just found that out. <laughs> so, yeah, do that and come back into the game per usual and you will find your tombstone right there wherever you died at pretty much pretty close to it if you did it in the water so of course get to the tombstone you know what i'm saying guys take everything out and you will see everything is there this is your tombstone you had it set and it's still here this is what you come into the game with every single time at least for me this is what i come into the game with i got that 235k in essence Plus, and then all my items, my Hellhound, my Sigil, my Elder Sigil, my Ether Blade, my Golden Armor, and all that good stuff, guys. So, you can actually do the exact same thing. It's not that hard to do, even solo. The only thing, just remember, at some point in this game, in your next game, you have to purchase the Tombstone Cola. You have to down yourself. You have to wait to get revived. Don't hold to give up. Don't bleed out. Let the timer go. Get revived, and then once you get revived, your tombstone is set again. It is saved. It is set again. The only thing you have to do now is after you use your items and you play the game and you, you know, you're you're at that point. It's only like two minutes left in the match. Okay, just don't exfil. Because you exfil, all this shit, all the stuff is gone. <laughs> so before before that time comes, just down, get down, or you know, what I'm saying down yourself. Don't get revived and come back to the game with all this stuff again. And again, guys, let's say you 
you did some mat, you did a game, and you you want to keep Pat. To, you, you, let's say you, one of your rewards was Pat three, and you want that in your ruck every time as well. It's fine. Just remember, put the Pat three in your ruck. Don't use it. Put it in your ruck, and then buy another Tombstone Cola. Get down, get revived, and that's it. That's really it, guys. That is the whole thing. Now, the only thing is, if you have to exfil, like if you're doing like a camel grind, and you have to exfil with a certain camo or whatever, certain many kills or whatever, or maybe you're still doing Act 1, Act 2, Act 3 missions, then yeah, you have to exfil. But if not, then this is going to work. No, I don't, I don't duplicate anything anymore, and I don't worry about having a whole lot of essence. So that's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If it helped you out, please let me know in the comment section. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.